So my name is Nadia Sasso. I am a content girl producer and scholar, storyteller, you know, Jill of all trades. So I feel like this holiday is super special for women because oftentimes women are overlooked in a lot of areas. I mean, if you look at just in America alone and it being a patriarchal society and the way we're paid and the way we're respected and a lot of different things, if you look at it internationally, it's the same, you know, the same way. And I just feel like there, and it shouldn't just be one day, to be honest with you, it should be every day that we appreciate um, the woman for what they do and what their presence means and all of the things that they have to endure. <laughs> Woo, right now I'm raising my niece that's a thorn. Um, and a lot of, I mean, it's celebratory as well, but to raise another black woman, a young girl uh, in this day and age is so hard with all the technology. And then also giving her, you know, unique background um, and what she's experiencing is definitely a challenge how you, you know, how you are a provider, how you're a nurturer, and how you guide this, you know, this little human. That, so that has been how have I, you know, worked through that, I think, depending on my village and asking for help. Um, and then there's no rule book to raising a child, so I think that's why it's more so adorned. There's no formula, there's no one plus one equals two. I would say a thorn for me as well as a woman is, you know, um, you know living in LA right now, you know, being taken seriously um, as a woman of color or a young woman. And it's like, you know, throughout my whole life, you're supposed to look a certain way. So you're a doctor. So why do you have blonde hair? And, you know, you don't look studious or you, I don't know, there's a look to certain things. And if you're too friendly amongst your male counterparts, then you're flirting <laughs> you know if you reach certain heights then you must have done something along the way so I think you know in essence of what this um, you know celebration is about celebrating who we are as women I think sometimes being a woman is a thorn but I think I wouldn't have it any other way because it just teaches you a lot about life and how to push through and in every situation that I'm naming I was able to Your, your reaction. Okay. So I just want you to look at it and then literally tell me your thoughts when you okay. see it. Okay. So literally as I look at this, it, the first thing that comes to mind is the rose that grew from concrete. Um, the Tupac. Um, I guess poem, song. And it really resonates because as a woman who comes from, you know, growing up in the Washington DC area and it not being some of the best circumstances or not, you know, going to the best schools or, you know, you're coming in this environment where everyone has said like, you're just gonna be another black female statistic and, but you still flourish and you still grow even though there's thorns on this, it's kind of like your defense mechanism because you gotta keep, you know, you gotta keep some boundaries up just so you can keep going. And the petals that you see and the leaves that you see is that, you know, through it all, even though not growing from soil, but from concrete, there's still life to you. There's still more that you have to give. So. Oh, this is mine? For real? Oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, that's a black rose. Oh, yes. I like this. Thank you. Um, but the reason I love this is kind of making me emotional a little bit is because, um, ooh, people see who you are, you know? They see the accolades, in my case, like, you know, being a doctor or, you know, living in L.A. And 
They see all these great things, but they don't really understand the pain that has come with it or what you've overcome. And, um, you know, those stories get lost or whatever. And it's not that you want to harp on the negative things, but if you hadn't gone through those things, you wouldn't be where you are. And um, and then it also it just reminds me of the song. Um, I don't know if you heard it, but Talib Kweli, Black Girl Pain. They just know the name. They don't know the pain. So, yeah. So, I am Nadia Sasso, and I am a strong, beautiful black rose.